Hello sa mga nakikinig sa podcast episode natin ngayon. Uh, ako nga pala si Jadrian Morales. I am your host at ako yung lens cap na nawawala tuwing shoot dahil di na alam kung saan na ilagay. Kasama ko ang dalawa kong co-host na si... At ako naman si Samin Villar. At ako ang yung SD card na hindi pa nare-reformat. At... I'm Eric Contreras. Ako yung battery na walang laman kasi wala na ako energy gumawa ng kahit ano. Oh. Yeah, and welcome to another episode of Behind the Lens. We're bringing you something different. Something exciting. Something fun. Are you ready for our stories? Our thoughts. And our ideas. This is Behind, Behind the Lens. And yun, mapapansin siguro natin, bum- ay bumabalik. May nagbabalik. <laughs> May nagbabalik. Uh, so, hindi nakakaalam, no? Ba't nga ba nawala ka for a couple of episodes, Eric? So, actually, nasa Southern Leyte ako from December 26 to January 31. Dapat nga maaga uuwi ka, so, ayun nga, numala ulit yung COVID dito sa Manila. Mm. Nakansin yung mga flights, yung mga uuwi. Mas nagkaroon pa ako ng sakit doon. Medyo sad. <clears throat> that was him. Yeah. So Actually, that man, area was one of those harshly hit by Typhoon Odette, no? How was it there? Yeah. So, parang nga yung mga unang picture na nakuha, na, na, na nakuha namin from Facebook and mga friends, di ba? Sobrang lala niya talaga. Like, alam, alala niyo yung Yolanda, parang ganun siya, pero doon. Luckily naman, mas konti yung deaths niya. Pero meron pa rin talaga mga na wala ng livelihood and mga bahay. And kung dadaan ka sa kalsada, may hita mo mga bata. They have like their hands out uh, asking for ayuda. And a lot of the coastal towns or parts ng mga municipalities wala or heavily damaged. So, may mga, nung unang dating namin, which is around December 26, kita mo talaga na mga trucks overturned. Eh, di ba yung mga trucks sobrang bigat na? Tapos uh-huh. yung mga beaches, yung mga bato na malalaki, gone. Di ba? Pero, kami naman, nawala ng resort, wash out, tapos yung place na sinestayan namin, yung parang hotel, pero it's a lodging house. Yung house doon, nawala ng roof. So, papalitan. Pero luckily naman, aside from that, wala namang mga problems mga ano namin. That's good. Um, at least ako, balik ka na dito, no? And you're safe, no? Um, I saw actually a lot of the photos you posted. And dito natin malalaman that photography really is about the story. Kasi nakita ko yung story na nangyayari dun, eh, and how you experienced it. And syempre, because of that, kung di nyo pa napagahalataan, our question for today is, kuha mo? Yes. At kuha. ayan, Our topic for today revolves around photography. At syempre, ano ba naman to kung wala tayong kasamang isang napakagaling na photographer? Our guest for today, pakilala ka nga. Oh, hi, I'm Alfredo Indigo Baraya. And I'm a music and art design student from University of Santa Tomas. And yes, I'm a photographer. Mm. Yon. Yeah. Yon. Yeah. 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 Okay. Photography. So let's get straight to our topic na, no? Since, yun nga. <laughs> This is all about photography. Simulan na natin sa kwento natin. How did you start photography? Sige, ikaw na muna, uh, Red. How did you start photography? Um, I'd say I was pretty much more or less born into it since my dad himself was a photographer. I grew up with seeing him with all of his cameras and lenses and I just remember being so fascinated with all of them. And I guess I sort of just adapted to it and I... Yes, I really have taken an interest in all of it and then since with most of his events, he brings me with him and I get to experience all of it and how he does things, how he composes and how he takes his pictures and uh, yeah, mm. I, I did love the whole experience and what it, what it makes. So influence, no? More than influence yeah. sa'yo yung... Yung, na-influence sa'yo yung photography. Ikaw, Eric, how did you start photography? Because I know you started, kailan ka nag-start? I actually started mga ano, grade 5, grade 6. Oh, that's uh, way earlier than me. So, 
<laughs> Explain <laughs> more. How did you start photography? Actually, kasabay ko si Juan and nung elementary kasi, uh, nausa yung mga event coverage that time sa school. So, <clears throat> pumasok kami journalists and pumasok kami as photographers. Tapos, ayun, from there, wala kong camera, mga 1300D, naging 60D, naging, ayun. Mm. Okay. Okay. So, so, na so, may opportunity lang rin sa school, tapos dun mo nasimulan, no? Okay, that's great. Actually, madami ata sa atin, sa Don Bosco, ganun talaga. I think, kasi sa akin, I think ganun din sa akin. Um, the reason I really started photography was because of events. I think events yung pinaka nag sa akin sa photography. Actually, medyo iba nga eh. Kasi late na yung photography. I think I started more with editing and then parang later on, the job needed a videographer. So, nag-video ko. And usually, when you video and you have a camera, <laughs> you end up, you know, mag- mag-photo ka na rin. So, I guess that's where I really started na talaga. Sa, sa events then Events helped me. Um, event sa school started it and then right now yun explore explore na lang tapos yeah yun yung the next start yung isa dyan next start yung pwede dyan ako sabi na yun tatanungin na kayo so yun guys no kung ako yung tatanungin ninyo about sa photography honestly wala talaga akong alam sa photography but I love yun parang I'm fascinated to... Oh, excuse me. Umiyok ata ako. I'm fascinated na humawak ako ng mga uh, camera. But the thing is, tamad talaga ako mag-aral. And mm. para sa akin, hindi ko talaga siya forte, siguro. Pero, amang ko, siguro... Hindi, hindi, no. Forte ni Simon kasi siya yung nasa harap ng camera. Eh. Ay, grabe yun. Model. <laughs> model yan. <laughs> Nakita ko, parang may kaka-model mo lang this week, ha? Nako, nako. <laughs> nabudol ako doon. Okay, nabudol ako doon. Pero yun nga, back to the topic na about the photography. Siguro, sama na natin siguro, since I love to take pictures din kapag may phone ako. Siguro, siguro maybe, pasok na rin doon yung about sa photography. But, ayun. <laughs> Actually, thinking about it, before I really started with events, feel ko sa phone din ako nag-start. Because we, I used to go out and take pictures, tapos i-IG ko lang. Just like, alam yung mga random stuff lang sa paligid. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> tapos alam mo yung, <laughs> ano, yeah. Arbox. Actually, made sense. Now, mag-usapan naman natin. What makes a good photo? Sige, from a perspective siguro muna ng hindi lagi, hindi sanay na sanay na mag- DSLR and all. From you, Simon, what do you think makes a good photo? Siguro, dito yung na-realize ko na lang. Madaming likes ka. Hindi. Ewan ko. Pag tinitingnan ko sa isang photo, kapag pasok siya sa sa standard ko na pagiging maganda, ayun, dun siya nagiging maganda para sa mata ko. And kung ano yung Basta all in all, kung ano talaga yung maganda sa mata ko eh. Nothing techy. I don't know about technicals about that photo. Pero kapag talaga maganda siya sa mata ko, then it's, ayan, that's what mm. makes photo good to me. <laughs> Kau, Eric, what makes a good photo? Um, definitely, it's two things eh. Because there's like the technical side and there's yeah. the story. Yeah. So, siguro, personally ako, I choose story over technical ability mm. of a photo. Mm-hmm. Especially kasi I watched this video and sobrang eye-opener siya para sa akin nung beginner ako photo- sa photography. It's um, parang essay siya or video essay siya tungkol sa works ni Nan Golden. Isa siyang photographer noong 1980s or around early 2000s based in New York. And one of the things about her photographs is there is so much story captured in one photo. Mm. And I think that's one of the good things about shooting film, which, alam niya, film shooter. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Sige. Yung mga maganda. Kasi, one shot, kaya mo talaga sulitin, diba? Okay. Okay naman, so, ano, ano yan? Sige, go say. So, kay Eric, pag, maganda para sa kanya kapag may story yung isang story story, story yung pinipili story talaga oh, story. okay kung kay um, kung kay Eric uh, 
Tawag oh, gitu kay Eric, uh, ano yung saya? Story. 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 Sa akin, ano? More on, I guess, <coughs> iba yung technical aspect eh. Pero number one, aesthetically pleasing dapat sa mata. <laughs> yun naman yun eh. Pagka hindi siya maganda tignan sa mata, I don't think you could consider it a good photo. Unless that's the intention of the photographer. Iba yun. <laughs> Tapos, number one, like, okay siya, um, you, you, you'll appreciate it when you see it. Pangalawa is that hindi ako sa story eh. More on emotion. I think yun yung pinaka gusto ko makikita sa photos. The emotion of happiness, especially like during events, makikita mo, di ba, nag enjoy yung mga participants and all. Makikita ko na, ay, nag enjoy sila. Amazing. Ang saya kunan nito. Pagka naman, um, minsan, like when you're out on the streets, you can see people like living their daily lives. It's para makikita mo yung emotion ng pagod yung emotion ng ganyan. But ibang emotions. And I think for me, that's what makes a good photo. The emotions that run within that photo. So, minsan, kahit, kahit nga hindi siya life eh. Like, when you put something else in a certain place, like lonely lang, ganun. Parang may certain emotion pa rin na binibigay yung isang photo. So, I think that that's what makes a good photo. The emotion in it. Ikaw, Red? Uh, I feel like for me, like Eric said, taking a good photo has two sides, which is a technical story. I feel like I have the tendency to be very critical with my with the technicalities, like the cop of taking the perfect composition and making sure the exposure is all okay and all. But I feel like as long as the picture strikes an emotion or makes you think about something, if it makes you wonder what the photo is about, or if it makes you wonder what the story is behind it, I feel like as long as that strikes you, I, I think you could consider it as a, uh, as a good photo. Mm. It, all, it, all, it all depends on how you view it. And, and your it's, well, it makes sense naman kasi, um, for me, okay lang rin yun. We, I think we also have the tendency to be so technical. Kasi parang, alam mo yun, pag tinuro kasi sa'yo sa class, or like, may nadaan ang mga video, parang, may timpla-timpla, ganyan. Yung naman yung golden ratio. Pero pag tumagal ka, no, parang, <laughs> Na, well, nagiging natural na lang, eh, no? Pagal ka, masasanay ka. Masasanay ka, eh. To the point na parang hindi, ko, hindi mo na kailangan mag... Uh, hindi mo na kailangan mag-test shot. Dati nag-test shot pa ako, eh. Parang... Parang dito na talaga yung composition. Masasanay ka, na. So, yun. And it makes sense because, like, if kulang walang technical aspect ng isang photo, ano gagawin mo sa isang magandang story na sobrang overexposed? Or sa isang story na underexposed tapos wala ka namang makita, di ba? O kaya sa isang story, ang ganda nga ng story, yung ISO naman niya, sobrang taas, tapos grabe yung grain. Uh, ang technical na natin. Hindi. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Sometimes good din yung grain, ha? especially kapag... Minsan, ah, oh, depends, depends. Mas naging trend na din kasi yung grain. Eh. Nagiging trend na yung grain. Yeah. Okay, game. Next. Ano yung, style, ano yung style natin sa photography? I guess, for the three of us, no? Um, given the fact... Wait lang. <laughs> sorry, Sai. Sorry, Sai. Sige, sige, sige. Tanong, ay, di, mamaya, may tanong ako kay Sai for this. Tara, sige. Well, ano yung photography? Ano yung photography style? Ikaw muna, Eric. Since ikaw yung pinakamatagal na siguro sa photography. Like, I think nadaan na mo halos lahat ng photography styles. Actually, oo. Oh, tama. Yeah. Pero, right now, kasi... Depende din sa mood yun eh. Mm. Pero since na pandemic, ano talaga ako? Uh, portrait, landscape, product. Yung mm. tatlong yun, yun talaga yung usually na ano. And, yun. Kasi halos lahat ng kaibigan ko, actually yung portrait, nagsimula ako dyan kasi dami ng papa pictures. Wait lang, wait lang. Yung ano yung pagkaya na sa school ka, oh. may camera ka, <laughs> nalapita ka, oh. o yung pa-shoot ni <laughs> Pa-shoot naman dito, DP oh. Oh, tapos madami sa doon boss ko may DP na galing sa akin. Uh, search niyo yung pangalan ko sa FB tapos makikita niyo ilang DP yung may, may ano may credit sa akin. <laughs> Credits too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, kasi ang daming ano I mean may ganun kasi sa DP no pagka may camera ka. Kaya for some reason parang naano rin ako na signal aralin ko na yung aralin ko na yung portrait kasi kailangan ko rin maki- maano kung paano. So yun. So for you, portrait landscape. Landscape, ang hirap ng landscape, ha? Grabing tiyaga ang landscape. <laughs> yung ano lang, kasi tinan mo, mga, yung mataas na, matawag na, shutter speed, ay mahaba pala. 
Ah, uh, long exposure. Long ayun, long exposure. Di ba kapag matagal ka sa di mo na maalala yung terms eh, alam mo na ba? <laughs> alam mo na ba paano gawin? <laughs> alam mo na, taas away siya at yung speed up. Ito sobrang sa, galing eh, no? Sa product photography naman, ano? Kasi business na, di ba? Lighting wise kasi ang, ang tinaray ko mag-product eh. Super lighting critical eh, no? <laughs> Kalahan talaga dikit na dikit. Hmm. Tapos kung lente mo, sobrang wide. Ah, hirap. Yeah. Kalahan mo talaga ng 85 mo. Uh, oh, iwas sa technical, iwas sa technical. Iwas sa technical. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Ikaw, Ed? Um, ako, I'm, I'm really more into portraits, landscapes, and siguro mga architectural and street mm. photography. Lalo na landscape kasi I enjoy the challenge pag may year mag-compose. True. Mas madami yung tas na bag. Ang dami rin factors kasi sa landscape, eh, no? Parang, ang daming madami effect. Kaya mo, pero madami yung shadow. White True. palat. <laughs> Okay. Mm, street actually, photographer. Kasi, Sige, go. Actually, true kasi nung si Red, nung pumupunta ko sa bahay niya. Kasi minsan kasi nauhuli ko yan, nag-e-edit ng video. Ay, nang video. Pala, photo. Sorry. Photography pala. Nag-e-edit siya ng photo. Puro landscape. So, parang, sabi ko, parang... Mabigat sa editing pag landscape. Lalo na pag hindi pag... Oo. Oh. No, oh, true. Exposure. Ac- actually, ewan ko, may kinukat ko ata saan si Red dati. Naabot ata siya ng mga ilang oras sa isang photo. Eh, kasi sobrang ganda ng photo. Tapos mas pinapaganda na pa through editing some colors and everything. It could. Actually, it could. <laughs> Masaya color theory. Hindi na ako nag-a-a-a. Siguro yun yung, ano, <laughs> yung, pin- yun yung medyo side na di ko na eh, um, explore. More na yun kasi ako eh. Mm-hmm. Yung shoot ko, more, more documentation style. So, event, sa events kasi nagsimula, di ba? So, hanggang ngayon, parang yung style ko for photography, like, events pa rin. Sobrang on the spot, on the go. Kung ano yung kaya kunin, kukunin. So, like, when I go out one day, I will take around a thousand, a thousand shots. Yeah, totoo, maabot ng one thousand shots. Pero magagamit mo dun, sampu lang, eh, no? <laughs> sampu lang magagamit mo. Di ba? Oh, oh ganun yun. Sa editing, ano, eh. Pumili ka. Pinaka mas tagal sa editing, pumili. <laughs> Instead sa mismong ano. <laughs> Tapos may dalawang shot ka na halos magkapareho. May hapan ka oh. ba pumili? Minsan <laughs> 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 ka, may about 20 shots ka. Tapos magkapareho sa lahat yun. Pero may mga konti differences. No. Ganun siya. Y- isa yun sa mga problema ko sa ano, portrait photography. Kasi ba diba, usually, may pinapagawa ko sa model. Like, wave your hair mga ganun. Eh, yung FPS ng camera nasa 10, 12 FPS. So, dire-diretso talaga siya. One shot, abutin ka mga 50. Para lang sa isang picture. Oh. <laughs> true, true, true. So, tapos ano, tapos pa nag, um, tapos inisip kasi na iba, pagka hindi okay yung photo, dinidelete natin. Hindi natin dinidelete, di ba? Wala na. De- na Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hindi, hindi lang sa filming, no? pati sa photography. Like, kuha ka lang talaga ng kuha, ng kuha, ng kuha. Tapos, Pagka iba post na saka ka namamili. Parang ganun yung parang approach namin. So, yun. Events. Aside from events, street photography is also something I enjoy. I guess, because of the fact na, ayun nga, parang yun din eh. On the spot, on the go, di mo kailangan magplano kung ano yung makakuna mo. Most of the story palagi ni sa street photography, sir. Yeah. Most of the story, most of the story is there. Tapos, ano pa ba? Street photography din ako eh. Oh, Actually, yeah. madalas. Madalas din ko sa hugdala ng camera. Sa Pero natry ko rin product. Nahirapan ako sa product. Um, mahirap. Food, natry ko rin. Mas mahirap yung food. <laughs> Kasi, oh, ang dami mong kailangan na yun. Ang eh. dami, ang dami. Like, I mean, uh, good thing may photography class kami, no? So, medyo natuto ako dun. Ang dami ko natutunan dun. Pero, overall, pinaka nagustuhan ko yung ano lang. Yung camera, yun, nag- pinaka nagustuhan ko actually, nagpipicture na ako ng memories. Like, sa klase, sa mga practices, ganoon. Oh. Yun yung pinaka-solid. Yun yung pinaka-solid sa akin. Talaga. Okay. Sa klase. Naku, alam ni Simon yan. Nasa likod ko yan. Si Jadren, kapag nasa klase, may hawak ng camera, gaganan na yun. Tapos ayan na, pipicturan niya kahit sino sino. <laughs> oh, ganun. Tapos yung binibidyoan niya pa. Kaya ako mo makikita niyo sa mga edit na siguro documentaries. Makikita niyo may, may ano do, may parang siguro shot ng klase na. <laughs> o, oh, di ba? Okay, Jadren, galing oh, yun. Pag, camera niya. Yung sabihin ng boy ko sa klase, di joke. <laughs> Tinamad. <laughs> Mukha ng camera. Anyways, yun. Wow. So, ibig sabihin, siguro, 
on the point pa rin tayo na talagang nag-explore pa tayo kung ano ba talaga yung photography style na gusto natin. Because I think ang diverse pa ngayon, di ba? Super diverse pa. Now, ito medyo ano tong, ano, ito, ano tong question na to, no? Challenging. When can you say that somebody is a photographer? Kasi given the fact na ngayon, lahat makakuha na ng photos eh with, with you know, the phone. Parang, everyone can take a photo. So, for you guys, um, what do you think is ano? Paano mo masasabing photographer yung isang tao? Like, where do you draw the line between someone who takes photos and someone who is a photographer? So, yan. Simon, ikaw muna siguro from a uh, point of view na iba. Uh, para sa akin siguro, ito ah, I'm opinion kasi hindi naman ako masyadong maalam about photography. But for me, masasabi kong photography is ng tao kapag alam niyo yung mga uh, ano ba sabihin, mga technicalities about sa uh, pag-shoot. Halimbawa, alam niya kung, kung saan na ang gulo, alam niya yung lighting nung subject niya yun, kung saan yung maganda. Kasi it's all about ano eh, kung paano siya magiging maganda sa mata ng tao. And dun sa, actually, sa maganda, sa magiging sa mata ng tao, tama. And, mm. syempre, kapag hindi ka naman maalam sa, you know, about the technicalities about photography, then, Oh, na, I'm not, ano ah, hindi naman ako sa nangano sa iba, but for me lang kasi... Siguro ano na lang, uh, you need to improve pa on that, no? Oh, uh, you need to parang improve pa if... But ayun nga, basta sabi kong photographer sa tao, kapag maalam siya sa mga technicality. Mm. Ayun, katulad ng sinasabi nung ating, you know, sila Eric, ikaw, Jade, and also Red, yun about the, yun nga, the types of... Uh, your, the style, different style and also their, you know, kumbaga kung paano sila, kung ano yung tipo nilang type of photography. Ayun lang. Mm. Um, um, may, siguro may sense din, no? Like, the technicality actually plays a big part. Pero sige, tayo ko muna yung iba. Ikaw, Red. Um, who is a photographer and who is a person that takes photos? Ano yung difference niya for you? I feel like it doesn't take much to be a photographer no more. You don't need expensive mistakes or any anything like that. I, as long as I feel like as long as you know what you're doing and you have an intention when you take a photo, mm. and as long as you, there's something you want to impart on that photo, and if you're considering being a photographer, a profession or something, I feel like you can call, call yourself a photographer if you have all of those. Mm. Intention. I mentioned my intention. I think you, yeah you you like you're not taking a picture just to take a picture that but there's something there's something mm. else Iba siya sa anime no yung kuwari gumala kayo ng family tapos hoy picture tayo picture tayo iba di ba Unlike sa photographer siguro na you're saying na ah, you're taking this picture for a reason parang ganun mm. There all, there, mm. ha, there has to be something behind it you don't mm. just take a picture mm. Ikaw Eric where what how do you differentiate like a photographer and a person who takes photos Actually, uh, medyo complicated siya, pero may simple answer din naman. Yung parang passion, kumbaga. Kasi, let's say you take a photo. Hindi ka naman instantly maging photographer kasi it's like singing. Just because you sing karaoke or video key every day, mm. it doesn't necessarily make you a singer, di ba? So, I think the way you can easily differentiate a photographer from someone who just takes photos is the passion. Like, a photographer, sometimes, they'll bring their camera out wherever they go. Mga ganon. Hindi lang yung tipong, ah, vacation, dalawang camera. It's for fun. Diba? Yung photographer, nagdadala talaga siya. Kasi gusto niya may photo siya sa portfolio niya. Mga ganon. And, again, diba, lahat na tayo may phone, diba? So, <laughs> ang photographer, he shows initiative C. Na, I want to take a photo. I want to take this photo. Mga ganon. Mm, okay. Actually, isa sa mga pet. Low-key. Low-key. Low-key, low-key lang. Saan walang... Bato-bato sa langit. Saan walang matamaan, chuchu. Um, isa sa mga pet beef ko. Oh. And I don't know if other people have it too. Is yung people... They'll call them, themselves a photographer or whatever man. Kahit they just took like... Eh, one photo. Mm. Parang... Wala ka pang nagpuku. <laughs> Tadyo ka lang. So, ayun. Grabe. Kalo ko may, mayroong ibang may... Masakit yun. 
Basta kit God. I mean, okay lang. Okay naman. Para sa, pa, well, sa perspective kasi ng mga, yan, katulad nila Eric Raymond. You know, they have, they have different perspective along with, parang kung ano ba talaga yung pagiging sure. photography. Or kung sino ba yung masasabi nating photographer. And for you, Eric, it's very understandable. Hindi naman siya it's like, you know, kung may matama naman, sa katotoo, minsan nakakainis. <laughs> Tapatin na natin. Minsan nakakainis yun. Yung parang, yung, ayun, parang ano, tinagmamalaki niyang photographer siya. Tapos pag tinignan mo yung like, shots niya or something, isang picture lang pala yung meron. Pero hindi naman kami nang gigi. Hindi pa. Hindi naman nang gigi. Hindi naman nang gigi. Okay, ganito. Sa akin siguro, I think every, ito medyo disagree siguro sa inyo. I think everyone is a photographer now. Siguro, feel ko lahat photographer now. But not everyone is a good photographer. That's where I draw the line. I think lahat ng tao ngayon photographer. Kasi ano ba yung definition of photographer? Someone who takes photos. So basically, I think everyone is a photographer. But not everyone is a good or a great photographer. Now, in order to become a good photographer, ayoko mag-base sa technicalities, ayoko mag-base sa ibang aspect. I think I would base it off experience. I think if you really have this set level of experience, um, you could then call yourself a photographer. Kaya nga tinatawag tayo na parang ay beginner pa lang ako sa photography. Di ba may ganun na parang sinasabi yung ibang tao? Which is, okay, nice. At least you're learning. And later on, magiging great or good photographer ka na. And right now, I, I really can't say na good or great photographer pa ako. I think I'm still in the middle of learning things. So, more or less, yun. Yun siguro yung parang perspective ko on that. Now, minention natin gear. And I think ang dami kasi nag-iisip na porket na pag-photographer ka, kailangan ang dami mong gear. Like, naman, di ba, parang ang daming may ganong mindset. Na parang, ay, para maging photographer, kailangan ko na magandang camera, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Ay, wait, sige. Before I ask you this question, um, in, not, not, um, Ano unang, ano mas tinatanong sa inyo? Ano yung camera nyo? Or paano nyo kinuna niyang picture na yan? Ano camera mo? <laughs> Sa'yo rin. Ano camera mo? Hmm. Ano mas natatanong sa'yo? Ay. You, you mean, kailan mo yung, dahil magkakita yung camera ko, di ba lang? <laughs> okay. So, di ba, sa akin din, a lot of people ask, ano camera mo pag nakikita nilang hawa yung camera, nag-picture ako or anything. Hindi ko, guys, bakit kailangan tanungin ano yung camera mo? Hindi <laughs> ko talaga, guys, bakit kailangan tanungin ano yung camera mo? So, can we all agree? I think we can all agree on this. That gear is secondary. Tama ba? Agree kayo? Okay. Yeah. May quote kasi tinuro sa amin minsan na parang hindi daw tutungkol. Alam niyo yung parang hindi to tungkol dun sa ano yung yung sa archery stuff. Hindi yung tungkol doon, tungkol siya dun sa ano yan? Hindi to tungkol sa hindi daw yung tungkol sa pana. Tungkol yun dun sa parang Indian na may hawak ng pana. Mm-hmm. So may parang ganun na quote na parang it's not so yun nga, parang it's not about It's not about the gears. The gear. Pero sige nga, pag-usapan natin. Gano'n ka lang, may, may influence pa rin kasi yung gear. So sa tingin nyo, ano pa rin yung, ano yung influence ng gear sa ano? Influence ng gear sa photography. Siguro from your experiences. Red. I feel like for me, medyo bias so Kasi I am a good of a camera. I, I, do love, I do love the thing style na yung mga bagong camera this year. Tapos from where I come from, yung mga camera nga na, that I'm used to. Pero I don't think that like, gear really matters. Maybe they do uh, in the technical wise. They do improve the quality inside. Pero as far as the photo goes, you can have any camera in the world. But as long as you're taking it the right way or, or a specific way, as long as it is about something, as, it's, as, well, as long as it tells a story or you see a certain uh, something to it, Gear doesn't matter. Mm, All the true. gear is is basically the thing taking it, and like people say, it's not the parts that drive it. Yeah, we, that yeah, that's in that sense. 
mm, agree with that. Minsan nga naiinggit ako doon sa mga, minsan nag-scroll ako IG. Tapos alam ko wala namang picture yung, wala, wala namang camera yung isang tao. Pero makikita ko naman ang ganda nung shot niya na parang, paano yung nagawa ito sa phones? <laughs> Yan naman, face it talaga lang ganun eh. It's like, Minsan kasi mas madali na sa phone. Mas madali sa phone, no? Automatic yung template, template. No? Pero makikita mo siguro with the edit. Siyempre, ang lahat tulong rin ng edit, di ba? Pero, ng post, siguro, our term. Um, minsan nakikita ko, wala namang gear to, pero ang ganda ng photo. Tapos parang, okay. That, parang, that's... Um, gear doesn't matter talaga kasi you know how to edit. Yun na yun, eh. You don't need a good camera to edit a good photo. True, true, true. Hmm. Pero guys, ano, di ba? Like, there's a difference between, uh, sabihin na natin, you have a, you know, very expensive camera and there's one cheaper. So, there's, there's difference. Diba? Meron, meron. Uh, Medyo mas amat si expensive. You can, it's yeah. not justifiable to buy a big camera to see now you can take better, better photos. So. Kaya nga pagka may nagtatanong na parang, ano yung parang, ano camera na gamit mo? Sabi ko, di ka pa naman nagsisimula. Magsimula ka muna sa kung anong meron ka. Start with what you have. If you have a phone, start with your phone. Diba? Baka, ano, baka pag tinanong mo, tapos sagutin mo, baka gumawa ka na lang sa dami na sasagin. Saka <laughs> alam mo, <laughs> mm, okay, siguro, from my perspective, photography-wise, gear plays a role, oh, oh, lalo na sa camera. Kasi dati naka DSLR ako na, like, malaki talaga ng Nikon. And then, kasi I wanted to focus more on video na. So I shifted to a mirrorless. And like iba yung experience ko sa mirrorless kasi parang let's just say na hindi ko feel sa photo wise hindi video wise photo wise parang hinahanap ko pa rin yung feeling na hinahanap ko nun sa DSLR Oh uh, iba iba yung feeling na SLR so like for some reason nahirapan ako sa kanila lente ko nun, parang 18 hangga nag nag 140 180 yata so sana yung malayuan na nagpalit ako ng lente ngayon parang hanggang 55 lang ako <laughs> so wala pa akong zoom lens na kaya yung 180 okay zoom lens wise hindi nakakaintindi mas mataas po yung number mas malayo po yung nakakuna niya no? yun lang yan uh, ah ah uh, okay <laughs> sabi na hindi nakakaintindi sige camera wise kinoconsider namin wide like mga 10 15 20 ayun mabababa wide yun mas ma- Yeah, 24 is wide. Um, that's yung parang usual eye range is I think 35 to 55, diba? Explain natin yan. Yun yung parang, parang kung ano yung nakikita ng mata natin, yun yun. Tapos yung ibang stuff like the zoom lens and ano, ayun, di ko alam hanggang ano yung pinakamataas na zoom lens. May mga telescopic lens kasi, pero... 100, 1,000. Ayun, nakagano. 1,000. Ayun, nakagano. Ayun, nakagano. Ayun, nakagano. Ayun, nakagano. Ayan, napunta tayo sa gear. Pero again, <laughs> hindi ganun ka aning gear. Agree ka yun doon, Eric? Agree ako. Na ano, uh, gear isn't necessarily important. Did you start off na may gear ka na? No. Actually, sobrang ganda ng kwento ko eh. Tanggaling ako sa, ay, nandun pala sa taas, power shoot siya na Sony, na sobrang lupa. Point and shoot? Tapos, point and shoot? Point and shoot, point and shoot. Ah. At saka handicap. Alam mo ba, mas maganda pa yung quality ng handicap kaysa sa point and shoot na yun. Kaya nagbibitso na ako. Handicap. Yung handicap yung ano, flip camera, video recorder, yung 2000s, diba? So, tayo. Doon ako nagsimula, tapos nagkaroon ako 1300. Yun yung kurang DSLR ko. And nung nagkwento ko tungkol sa DLSR, DSLR, mirrorless experience mo, sobrang relate. Kasi I came from a really, really heavy camera na may battery jeep pa eh. Tagtag pa yun sa bigat. <laughs> Oo, oh, uh, bigat. Hindi ako dati, di ba? Ang bigat nun, sobrang hassle dalhin minsan. So, kasi yung bag na dala ko usually, hindi na kasha siya doon. Hindi na siya kasha doon. Then, nagpalit ako sa M50 and literal na kaya ko ikasha sa pocket ko. Di ba? Pero ano, yung isa lang doon, minsan di ko alam nang kuha nila ng picture kasi hindi mo random. <laughs> Lalo na kapag naka-silent mode siya, wala akong maririnig. Hindi yung ano doon. Mali, pwede ka nang mag-DSLR. Mayinig mo talaga eh. Rinig mo eh. Lalo na yung ano, pag naka yung Wondi, tapos ano, rinig mo talaga lalo na yung shutter pag sobrang bilis. Oo. Parang whistle eh. Dati nga ginagawa ko, pero huwag nyo gagawin to guys. Bubuksan, hindi, bubuksan ko yung tatanggal kay Lente. Tapos titignan ko lang. 
<laughs> I think lahat naman tayo ginawa eh. <laughs> pero alam nating mali yun. <laughs> Alam natin yung mali yun, pero ang solid lang kasi tignan ng shutter na gumagano'n gano'n. Oh, gumagano'n gano'n. <laughs> okay, then. Ayan. Agree ako nung sobra kay Red, yung camera geek. Like, dati, ano, magtatanong ko, oh, ano yun? Ano camera mo? Mga gano'n nung gusto wala ako. Pero no, no, titignan ko lang. Like, oh, A7C, A74, Nikon D90, USR5, mga gano'n. Titignan ko lang alam. I actually had that mindset nung like nagsisimula ako photography grade 9. Tapos parang later on nung na-realize ko gaano kamahal lahat ng gear sa photography. <laughs> parang sabi ko, ayoko na aralin, ayoko na aralin ito mga ito. <laughs> Kaya for some reason, di ba, pag kami mga technical-technical tayo sa film na about lenses and stuff, usually kayo, kayo yung tinatanong ko kasi minsan di ko, alam ko siya, pero to the, hindi ko siya, hindi ako nagigig out. To, ng, tulad ng ginagawa niyong dalawa. Pero... Maganda rin naman ang ginagawa nyo. Because, again, photography is an interesting field. Actually, and it's part of it. Mm-hmm. Actually, yeah. one funny thing is, nung nagpa-picture kami for the moving up, <laughs> lahat ng photographer inaano ko. Oh, yeah. The problem is, no, I know. Lalo na yung, I know. Yung, di ba, nag-ano kami grade 11. Yung picture namin yung grade 10. binash talaga ng dad ko yun kasi yung guy editing nyo lang tapos ganun yung minsan may mali sila tapos he'd rather take the photo pag photographer ka at ano mo yung yung <laughs> true 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 <laughs> inaro <laughs> ah <laughs> okay may gusto lang kakaisin kita sa orang bilis alam niyo yung feeling na pag photographer ka you take good photos of other people pero wala magtitake ng good photo <laughs> sa'yo <laughs> Sobrang lala. Sobrang lala. Pero wala mo kukuha sa'yo. Inakakainis kaya. Isa sa mga useful of course. Si Sai. Ano? Actually, side comment ko lang. Isa sa mga useful of course kapag photographer ka tapos lumalawas ka with friends. Lahat sila magpapapicture sa'yo tapos papahiramin mo sila ng camera. Yan. Yan lang. Tumindet lang sila tapos sabihin. Tapos magtataka, yun na yun? Ba't parang kapag ako nagpipicture sa'yo, sobrang tagal, di ba? Ba't parang sobrang bilis mo na picture, bro? <laughs> pag tayo ako siya nagtitake, parang take lang ako ng take, oh, li- palit ka pwesto, palit ka pwesto, palit ka pwesto. After nun, ang daming shots. <laughs> si Simon, relate dyan. Pero nasa kabilang banda kasi siya, eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, yeah, no. Ayan. I think we're good. I think we have defined that gear... plays a role, but it's not necessarily important. Makikita naman natin, no? we all, st- um, gear is there, but it's, it's still about you as a photographer. I think that's what we can establish. Now, si Ego. Uh, so siguro is, it grants you freedom. Siguro. Because mm. there are things that a cheaper camera won't let you do. Especially in cinematography. Uh, in terms of gear, Kapag wala ka masyadong budget, mag-improvise ka ng mga slider, mga tripod, papatong mo lang. Pero in- kapag mas may gear ka na, diba? nakapag-drone ka na, mga gano'n. Expand your horizon so that you see the view. Yep. Pero later on, matututo ka kasi wala kang tripod. Hanap ka na minsan ng mga libro. Hanap ka minsan ako ano-ano. It's part of the journey of being a photographer, diba? Kasi start up below, wala kang camera. Tapos you're gonna have to improvise. Tapos mm. once you have the things, it's... It's what makes you a better photographer. No, once you have the things, you need to... Mag-improvise ka na kasi sa ibang bagay. Hindi na dun sa bagay na pinaproblema mo in the first place. So it gives you room for more creativity, I guess. And hindi mo na siya pro-problematic in the future kasi mm. no, hindi mo siya kaya without things. Imagine what you can do when you have everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mas gagalin ka, kumbaga. True. Okay. I think the biggest problem with people who want to get into photography is that Alam mo yun, they struggle with the fact of the gears. I think we've talked about the gears. Pero siguro for aspiring photographers na lang, no? Those who don't want to start or don't know how to start. What tip or advice do you have? Um, Start muna tayo sa'yo, Eric. Uh, actually, this is the thing that I've followed for a really long time. Is having friends or mentors who can critique you. You will not improve in anything at all kung... hindi ka nakatanggap ng criticism. Kasi, wala. If you're just gonna think na, oh, I took this photo, magaling na ako at that point. 
Paano naman kung makita yan ng, let's say, magaling na photographer? ba? Diba? And one of the things na na-learn ko nung nagsisimula ko is there was the seminar. Uh, yung nagtuturo sa amin, he's like a renowned photographer in the, here in the Philippines na nalang ng awards, interview ni Chris Aquino, mga ganon. And may nagtanong sa amin, uh, Sir, paano po kayo magtimpla ng shot? And sabi lang ni Sir na, ano, wala, naku-auto lang siya. Ibig sabihin na, ano, hindi ka pala matututo ng mga ganun, ng ganun lang. So, dun ka nakalaman ng insights from others. Dati, okay. ano, dati akala ko, like, pag- na- nagulat ako nalaman kung autofocus lang pala ginagamit ng mga nagpo-photographer oh, talaga. Diba? Kasi dati akala ko ang big deal ng manual focus. Manual, manual. <laughs> Pero kapag nakakuha ka na ng mentor, nagsasabi, ah, you learn. Huwag ka na mga problema. You learn. Hmm. Okay. So don't be afraid to ask other people. True. Sa akin, sa akin naman, I guess, just start taking photos. And pangalawa, um, yung iba kasing photog- iba iba kasi tayo ng approach sa photography. Some people choose to take photos but don't want to publish them. Some choose to do publish them, di ba? Pero, you wouldn't really learn if you won't start. And once you do start, huwag ka manggaya ng style ng photography ng iba. Find your own style. Make your own style. Alam nyo ba, to be honest, wala akong parang, alam nyo, iba kasi may mga pinafollow na like, photographers na kilala, siguro kayo meron. Peter Makinon. Ayun. Shout out. <laughs> Peter Makinon. Actually, napanood ko yung mga ibang videos niya. <laughs> Isa sa mga pinakaunang videos na pinanood ko. Pero later on, kasi nung natutunan ko na yung pinaka-basics, once you get to know the basics of photography, you learn the rest. To the point na nung basics ka lang ko aralin sa YouTube. Pero nung tumagal, matututo ka na lang. Saka, <laughs> ano, <laughs> um, wag, it's best to learn by yourself <laughs> kaysa magtanong sa mga photography. <laughs> Kasi, uh, hindi. It's, it's, a, it's par, mag, mada, man, siya, problem solving. Both yeah, them. problem solving. And I think wag ka magtatanong sa mga photographer. <laughs> Kasi di rin nila alam isasagot nila sa iyo. <laughs> Paano mo tinitimpla yan? Parang, hindi ko rin alam paano ako nagtitimpla. Basta alam ko nagtitimpla. Diba? Ganun tayo, diba? Parang, paano? Hindi ko alam paano ako nagtitimpla. Basta alam ko tinitimpla ko. Hindi ko alam paano. Paano ko tinatansya kung anong shutter speed yung kailangan ko. Basta, tansyado ko. So, more or less, ganun. Tapos, yun nga, don't problem yourself. If you have a phone, start with a phone. Um, if hindi ka satisfied, there is always post. I mean, some photographers don't like doing post. Pero ako kasi, sobrang laking bagay sa akin ng post. So, if you feel like, yeah, if you're not satisfied with your shot, there's always post to make it better. And hopefully, no, makapag-explore ka, especially right now, during the time na parang, or in the pandemic, no, ang daming pwede mong gawin. You, you could take very simple photos outside your home, sa mismong harap ng bahay nyo, picture-picture ka lang, and you know, you could actually take great shots and later on, improve in photography and become the great photographer yung sinasabi ko kanina. Ayun. Um, ikaw Simon siguro. Si- um, even if you're you're not a photographer, I, you're not a photo- photographer per se. Um, maybe um, sa mga pinagsasabi namin, parang ano yung nakita mong parang mahalaga sa pagsisimula ng photography. For me ano, gusto ko yung adat noon. Kung nakalimutan ko na, kasi nabay nagsabi na just take. Ikaw ata Jade, you said na just take pictures, siguro. So, mag-take ka lang ng maraming pictures. And then, um, siguro, for my perspective, even if uh, I'm not a you know, photography person, or kung may tawag ba man, kung may tawag ba man dun, uh, siguro, from your perspective, learn different styles, learn different, mm. uh, you know, genre. Oh. Uh, sure. But di ko alam kung anong ba tawag. Basta, so, uh, ano? Saka huwag kayo humira. Ay, pagka gusto nyo talaga matay yung camera, huwag kayo humira sa mga kakilala nyo, guys. Pwede yun. Ayun. Pwede kayo humira sa mga kakilala. Huwag mo na sisirain yung camera. Hindi ba kasi. Alaga lang. Pero okay. Yun, for advice naman, siguro para sa akin, siguro just take pictures. And then, siguro gusto ko rin yung sinabi ni, uh, ni Eric na learn to accept. Siguro para naman sa akin, learn to accept uh, criticism. Kasi kung alam mo yun, 
Hindi ka... Wait, sige. Nag-accept nyo ito sa panoorin nyo yung episode 8 natin. <laughs> episode 8, guys. Talk about We it. talked about okay. that. So, um, it's anong mali ko. Balikan na lang natin yun. Okay. Final takeaway advice you have to those aspiring photographers. Uh, Red. Like Eric said naman, criticism lalo na in our line of work, it's very important kasi that is how you grow as a photographer. You can't you can go through the whole journey without making mistakes. Tapos when you do, you have to learn how to accept them lalo na pag may photographer na ng crutch siya. Kasi, you know, photographers can get really picky when they take photographers. And the you said that again about it's the more critics in the in the, in the industry and uh, another thing about the important in the whole thing it doesn't have to be just in photography it's the very it's one of the most important lessons my dad taught me that you know, if you want to get into the, this industry as much as the talent and everything else that goes photography is important he told me that Talent should always be second, and that in our industry, you should always prioritize your attitude and personality. Rather than with your clients, you can't get too cocky. Rather than pag sinabi ng nila na magandang yung picture mo, you can't be too prideful about it. Rather than it's maganda ka pero if you if you are too cocky about it, alam mo maganda tapos you're I know telling people about it. Parang dun ko mawala sa ano being a photographer. You're getting too you're not prideful about it when you get I do party. You have to be humble then about it. Mm. True. Alright, and I guess I guess the final takeaways natin for this episode. I hope you learned a lot about photography and yeah, yeah, how important the story is in a photo and what's the best way to start. Now, thank you again. We'll let kasama natin ngayon ang guest natin, a VMP member and also a really great photographer, um, Red and Mm, where are we available? We are available on YouTube, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and Apple Podcasts. So yeah, search nyo lang, guys. And and then, guys, don't forget to check out our Facebook page. It's Vision Media. Ah, wala. It's, it's only Vision Media <laughs> Production. And our Instagram at Vision Media Production. <laughs> Panganina, it's Vision Media Production. <laughs> Panganina. <laughs> and yeah, this is episode 9, Kuha Mo, of Behind, Behind the Lens.